Hello everyone, Chris McGee here. Uh, this will be my first video. I have a bit of a rant I wanted to go on today, but before I get on that, I'd like to first of all apologize if I seem a little bit out of focus or if I go in and out of focus a little bit. The camera I'm using here is a DSLR, a relatively inexpensive one, therefore um, doesn't have autofocus capability in movie mode. So just deal with it, sorry. Okay. Um, I have a bit of a rant I'd like to go on. Uh, so if you're here for entertainment, I'm sorry. Uh, I, there's not going to be any. If you're if you're looking for entertainment, just click on the nearest cat video instead. Okay. Uh, I had this thought on Saturday night. It it literally kept me up for quite a while. Uh, and I had the idea to record this video. Then, if I had recorded it at that time, it probably would be a lot more entertaining this, than this will be. Sorry about that. You're getting it two days later where I've gotten a little bit more sober uh, and a little bit more time to think about it. <clears throat> Regardless, uh, my this rant is about Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, now don't just hear me out on this. This is actually not anything bad about Dungeons and Dragons. In fact, it's just the opposite. Uh, but let me give you a little backstory first of all. Uh, I've always wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons uh, for as far back as I can really remember. Uh, when I first heard about it, I thought this is this is a game I really want to do. You know, sit on a tabletop, roll some dice, have some fun, meet some people. That would have been ideal, absolutely what I wanted to do. And at this time, I was in high school, about twenty plus years ago. I know I'm dating myself. Uh, and at that time, uh, what was out was uh, AD&D, actually. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, second edition. So I said, this, this is, you know, let, I'm going to get into this. I want to play some AD&D second edition. Not, not that uh, for beginners, just regular D&D &D stuff. I want the real deal. I want AD&D by, by gum. So I uh, went out and I bought some books. In fact, one moment, I brought them with me here. Probably should have had these ready beforehand. So I got myself, yeah, lots of stuff here. There's a Monstrous Compendium Volume 2 binder with probably like Volumes 1 and 3 in here as well. I'm not exactly certain of that. Uh, well, actually, no, here's the, here's the Volume 1 binder, yeah. Okay, good old beholder there. And you can see how old it is. Things are yellowing around the edges. I got lots of tabs separating, I don't know what. I haven't gone through this stuff in I don't know how long. But I bought the, I, I, I was gung-ho into this. So I bought everything I could get my hands on. Here's the original player's handbook, the one that started it all. The book, as you can see, well-loved. Um, the original from, well, what year? Does it have a year on it? Sure does, 1989. Okay, yes, I'm old. DMG, I didn't really intend to become a dungeon master, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get the book anyway just in case it might come in handy. So I got that as well. I figured, you know, maybe someday I will become a dungeon master, so I snagged it. I also like the idea of rolling up a wizard type character, a magic user, so I figured I better get the Tome of Magic. This was one of the more recent acquisitions, uh, a couple of years later, 1991. So I got that one. And I, I haven't read all of these, of course. But uh, I did buy them all expecting to really get into this game. And uh, I, I did read the player's handbook all the way through from beginning to end, but not, not the rest of them. Now, I do rem remember someone telling me, well, what, what campaign setting do you want to be in? You know, Dragonlance or Forgotten Realms is, of course, the kind of, staple uh but i asked well you know i kind of knew what what would be uh the best one for beginners to get into 
They said, well, probably Dragon Lance. So I said, okay, I'll do Dragon Lance. So I bought the novels. I started reading them, and I bought all kinds of Dragon Lance books. I even bought a Dragon Lance module here in search of dragons with ma hex maps and everything. Bought uh, the Atlas of the Dragon Lance Saga. Beautiful descriptions of towns and locations in the Dragon Lance series. Got the Player's Guide to the Dragon Lance campaign. Again, uh, this was probably in 1993 when this book came out. Right at the end of my high school year there. Arms and Equipment Guide. Very handy. Never did actually use it. I'll get to that in a moment. The Complete Fighter's Handbook, because I also also thought about creating a fighter character for the Dragonlance, my Dragonlance game. I, I really got into this stuff. Ah, uh, and the fantastic, I'll have to keep this nearby somewhere, the Art of the Dragonlance Saga. Wonderful, wonderful artwork created for Dragonlance. Um... Got a beautiful leather, or what they what they called uh, dragon leather, or something like that. Dragon skin, thank you. Dragon skin there. And I got some character record sheets. I got more modules over here. What was this? Classics Volume One. Yeah, for the original series of Dragonlance games. The DM screen, very important little piece of equipment there. You know. So I, I went all out on this stuff. I bought things. I don't even know where this came from. Ravenloft. I've been told it was great. I think someone gave it to me. Never did play it, of course. Uh, treasure maps. Just some random assortment of maps. I'm not going to go through everything here. The rest of it is just a whole bunch of graph paper and loose leaf paper. Uh, most of it... As you can see, the whole point of showing you all this is just to show that I was very much gung-ho on this thing. I really wanted to get into it. I really wanted to play it. And this was back in high school. <clears throat> um, and I got these through a local gaming store. And while there, I did uh, discover that there were other RPGs available uh, besides Dungeons & Dragons. But I said, you know what, I'm going to want... The to play the core experience. I want to play the granddaddy of them all, Dungeons and Dragons. So that's why I chose to go through uh, to, to play AD&D, second edition, because that's based on the original. Now, wanting to do something and actually doing it are two, two totally different things. I tried to get some people together in high school so that we could roll up some characters, play some adventures. If I couldn't find a DM, that's why I bought that DM guide, so that I could maybe learn to be a good DM. Unfortunately, I don't think... I mean, I did, it did get together some people, but it never really got, went, went beyond our first session, our first get-together, where we just created some characters and that was it. <clears throat> and then life happened, and D&D kind of went to the side, <clears throat> went to the wayside. And I never, I lost touch with all those people that I had met in high school. I couldn't even begin to tell you uh, what their names were or even what they looked like. It's been so long. But through the intervening years between high school and roughly now, I still yearn to you know, secretly in the back of my mind, I, I still yearn to play the, the original core D&D &D experience. Tabletops, rolling dice, pen and paper. Mountain Dew, Doritos, the usual. It wasn't until 2008, however, uh, when, and I, by this time I had heard about 3rd edition and 3.5 just you know, from the periphery of my knowledge, from, you know, my small circle of friends. But obviously I, I thought, well, I'm no point in getting into it unless I can find some people. Plus I'd heard some bad things about third edition. Uh, so where was I? Um, yeah, I bought tons of books, tons of dice, never really got anything going on in high school. Uh, 2008, 
met this little group here where I live and discovered that uh, fourth edition was on its way out. I said, I'm gung ho about this. I will be doing fourth edition. Absolutely wanted to. Uh, so uh, I played the little play test. They had a representative from Wizards of the Coast come out and uh, show it to us. I played some of it. I enjoyed it greatly. I said, okay, good. This is what I want to do. I'll get the books. I'll keep coming here. Here, I think it's once a month is when the group gets together. So I'll keep coming here once a month and we'll play some D&D. I'm set. Great. So I did. I bought the core rule book set. Player's Handbook, DMG, and the Monster Manual. Here they are. Beautiful, st still pristine more or less. Did read the Player's Handbook cover to cover. But guess what happened? A few meetups later, and no one really wanted to play 4th Edition anymore. So I actually did play a few games this time. And this is back in 2008, remember. Uh, but people just didn't want to play anymore. So the games weren't being held there. So, well, okay, maybe I'll just wait till the next meetup. I'll, I'll, meet, I'll skip this one, and we'll see what happens next month. Come by next month to the group, still wasn't there. Well, crap. Next one still wasn't there. So basically, I had stopped going to these groups after a few months because they stopped playing 4th edition D&D. And there weren't any other games that I was really interested in. I wanted to play the core experience, the real, the original, granddaddy of them all, Dungeons & Dragons. <sighs> Fast forward to 2012, this year, around July or August. Um, I had been watching some videos online, particularly from the Spoonie one at SpooniExperiment.com, and he was talking about this role-playing game he likes called Pathfinder. Uh, and I did some more digging on that and discovered, okay, P Pathfinder seems to be, be the kind of like the new Dungeons and Dragons, the the new hotness, the one that people like to play. Uh, so I went back to the group again around in July and August and uh, talked with people there and said, yeah, I'm, I'm really wanting to play some Dungeons and Dragons. And, and I discovered that 4th edition, having been out for about four years now, has kind of gone by the wayside. A lot of people don't like it anymore. They don't w want to play Living Forgotten Realms anymore. I still have yet to understand why, but we'll come back to that. So I'm at the group, and you know what? I decided I'm, I'm going to play something besides D&D &D just for the heck of it. So since they didn't have any 4th edition games still, I did play some other stuff. I think one of them was maybe Fantasy Craft. Uh, one of them may have been a Pathfinder game. I don't recall exactly. But I, I did realize, it was that, at that moment, I realized, you know, I don't really have to stay with Dungeons & Dragons. Um, I can understand people may be upset that Wizards of the Coast bought TSR way back when, whenever, and that uh, maybe for, for whatever reason, the, the game system is now trash, and that it's just not not as enjoyable to play. That was the big key for me. If it's not enjoyable to play, I'm not going to play it. But I still wanted to play a fantasy-themed role-playing game. So, did some more digging around on the site where I found the group and found out there's also a group getting together called the Pathfinder Society. So, okay, well, let me ask them. I asked them if... if, if <clears throat> yeah. I asked them if it was okay for me to join them. They said, yeah, in fact, this next meetup here, they, they were meeting every Tuesday. They said, this next get-together we're having is geared more towards first steps for, for beginner players, so this will be a great time for you to join. I said, wonderful. So I joined them. I went by. I felt like an outsider at first, but they welcomed me in eventually. And 
I've been playing Pathfinder Society ever since then, about July, August of this year, 2012. Um, and I've been enjoying it. I've been having fun. And, but the story doesn't end there. At this point, I'm still attending the little monthly get-togethers for just generic role-playing. Maybe t to branch out a little bit, discover what other games that, uh, that, that are available out there. And the most recent one I had was two days ago. Uh, and, and part of the reason why I do bo both Pathfinder Society and this monthly gathering is because, well, for one thing, I've discovered that I really, really enjoy tabletop gaming like this, particularly in the fantasy genre. But also because ever since I st started joining Pathfinder Society in the middle of this year, uh, the num our, our attendance has dwindled considerably. Uh, we started out having too many too many people for one group, so we'd have to split up the group into two, down to like three or four people showing up, which is the bare minimum you can have for a, uh, a Pathfinder Society game. So I went to this monthly meetup that was not tied in with Pathfinder Society, but some, some something on its own, the monthly gathering. And, well... I basically talked about how I enjoy Pathfinder Society and so forth. And we played some other games. We played some, like, murder mystery role-playing games and stuff like that. But it was fun. It was enjoyable. I, I had a blast. However, uh, I discovered, you know, there are three people that voiced their, their disdain. And I'll explain what I mean here. One of them basically said that he was... He he'd been playing fantasy games. He did, he was getting away from. Let me back up a bit. He he's known for uh, playing some fantasy craft, role playing, games, uh, game mastering those. I asked him whether or not he would be doing any more fantasy craft games, and he said, "Well, you know, I'm kind of burned out on it. I'm kind of burned out on on the fantasy genre in general." And I said, well, okay, I guess. He said, but well, he's been doing it for, for, I don't know, what, maybe 16 years. And so he's ready to move on to other things, maybe horror genres or sci-fi. And I can understand that. Hey, if I've been eating rice once or twice a week for 16 years, I'd be sick of it too and be looking for something else to eat. So I'm not going to, yeah, I can't blame him for that. I totally understand where he's coming from there. But that basically means, okay, fantasy crafts off the table. That, I can't be playing that. But I still have Pathfinder Society. I'm okay. Except our numbers are dwindling. Okay, well, another person who, who attends our Pathfinder Society get-togethers also joined this little monthly get-together. And he announced towards the end of the day that he, he will be leaving Pathfinder Society. He's not going to be playing any more of that. If you're wondering why there are so many, there's a fade or cut between, you know, segments every 10 minutes or so, that's generally because, that's because uh, this camera that I'm using, it only records 4 gigabytes, which in HD is about 10 or 11 minutes, and then it just stops. I mean, it's a DSLR camera, what do you expect? Deal with it, I have to. So, as I was saying... Uh, this third person, uh, Saturday night, uh, was talking about how much he hates organized play in general because I was talking about Pathfinder Society and how much I enjoyed Pathfinder Society. And he was, he didn't like the fact that you have to pay a certain amount to, to get a pre-made module. Well, not so much that, but the fact that you can't deviate from it, that uh, you can't just build your own scenarios, and you can't modify existing ones that some of your players may have played before, but modifying it so that it's different for them, maybe even a little bit newer for them. And I don't know, maybe you can. I haven't really looked into that. 
but you know he's got a point yeah he, if you're playing a weekly game i don't know if paizo puts out enough modules that you can play a new one each week so eventually you're going to have to go back depending on how often your group plays you're going to have to go back and play some of the old ones again and hope you just have forgotten enough of it that it feels somewhat new to you <laughs> like watching an old movie you haven't seen in 20 years And it was basically, it wasn't any, you know, I've mentioned these three people. And it wasn't any one person in particular that has upset me, of course. And I apologize if I seem like I'm really upset. I'm not. I am feeling a little frustrated, perhaps. But it's a combination of these people that make me feel like, what am I doing wrong? Um... All I ever really wanted to do was play some Dungeons and Dragons. And then later on in life, I discovered, okay, it doesn't have to be the granddaddy of all games, the Dungeons and Dragons. It can be something else that ta takes place in the fantasy genre. But even then, I've discovered, well, people are losing interest in it. Is it maybe, are, are, are they all just... Feeling like that first person I mentioned, where they're just tired of the fantasy genre. They're tired of orcs and swords. They're tired of the same old stuff that, that maybe I've just joined the fantasy bandwagon too late. Is that what's happened here? Do I... Um, I don't know if I'm saying it or not. Do I need to either look into other genres? Because other people seem to have moved on to other things, such as Call of Cthulhu, horror genres, sci-fi genres, GURPS, whatever. I don't know. Am I just a Luddite? Am I a holdout that wants to play fantasy genres and everybody else in the world has moved on? I'm, I'm feeling a little frustrated that I can't ever seem to get a game going on a regular basis that will last more than just a few months. So far, our Pathfinder Society meta is still go going on as scheduled. We're uh, supposed to, uh, we are scheduled to get together tomorrow. But I'm just beginning to feel like, at least in my area where I live, the 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 desire to play a, a tabletop fantasy role playing game has just left the city <laughs> and that there's been really nothing left except the, all these other genres people seem to want to play that I don't really care for I don't really want to play horror so much I've played some didn't really appeal to me all that much I'll play it again if but I, I want I want a regular fantasy game. I don't. I like sci-fi. I love sci-fi. I'm a big Star Trek nut. But I don't want to play that all the time necessarily. I I really want a fantasy genre game to play, and I play plenty of of, of PC games and Nintendo and so forth uh, that take place in the fantasy genre. But it's just not the same as being around a group of friends having a great time rolling some dice, and having a blast. Uh, it's, it's not the same. So, that's pretty much my rant. Is it, and and it, it boils down to why is there so much hatred for the fantasy genre? Why is there so much hatred for D&D uh, 4E? Why has it been abandoned now? I can understand that maybe a lot of people People are upset that maybe because Wizards of the Coast bought the D&D license from TSR. I can kind of understand that. The reason why I joined Pathfinder Society, I'll be honest, is because I couldn't find any other fantasy-based role-playing game that meets on a regular basis, preferably weekly. It's because of all the, this hatred and animosity 
that I've seen towards Dungeons and Dragons, fourth edition and otherwise. I, I can't play them and no one wants to play them. So all this money that I spent back in high school on all the second edition books, no one plays second edition anymore. This is useless to me. No one wants to play it. The money that I spent on fourth edition books just, just four years ago, people don't want to play fourth edition anymore. So these are now useless to me. I'm this in Pathfinder. I bought this thing, thing the core rule book for the Pathfinder gaming system. And now, what, no one wants to play this anymore? So, so this is now useless to me. Well, I'm not gonna throw this. But, I hope I've made my point. Um, and I'm just ranting now. So that's pretty much my rant. I, um, I don't, I, I'm just a little tired of, of all I, I ever wanted to play with was a regular, preferably we weekly or so, uh, D&D game. Or, now that I've learned, maybe any fantasy-based genre game. Preferably with magic, because I love playing magic users. And it seems like no one else really wants to. I guess that's what this whole video boils down to, is that I'm just whining about that I want to play a fantasy-based role-playing game, and no one else seems to want to. There is so much animosity that I've seen against D&D &D and other fantasy role-playing games that I feel like a lone voice in the, in the wind. And I'm, I'm used to being different. I, in, fact, I, in a lot of cases, in a lot of cases, I like being different. I like the fact that I enjoy music that nobody listens to. Not saying that I'm a uh, hipster, but I listen to old 80s music that no one, everyone else thinks, thinks is crap these days. Wonderful. I don't care what, what you know, I enjoy it and that, that's that. Uh, I enjoy be, being different in a lot of cases, but in this case, wanting to play a group-based fantasy role-playing tabletop game, you kind of have to find other people <laughs> who want to do the same thing. So, that's it. I, I ranted a, long, uh, a little too long probably here. So, um, I'll go ahead and end this video now. Please feel free to get, uh, send in your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, I just had to get this off my chest. Otherwise, I, I'd pro probably sp spend a few more sleepless nights just contemplating this. So there you have it. Thank you. We'll see you next time.